Faber, Faber. You know, uh, I appreciate you letting me interview you, bro. I appreciate um, you having me. No doubt, man. What I'm doing, man, with the podcast is, uh, you know, it's called Out the Cut TV. It's where my podcast, where my platform, I bring people out the cut. You know what I'm saying? You know, Maine is like a, a melting pot. People from everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody got a story. So, so what's good, man? Tell the people where you from. You know what I'm saying? Where you grew up at? been kind of a, oh sorry it's been more kind of like an ups and downs you know in Lewiston but you know this is where I grew up so true that yeah. true that now uh, so you grew up in Lewiston you born and raised here um, I was born in Ma- Worcester Massachusetts um, Worcester Massachusetts lived in Mass until I was about 10 and yeah. then I moved to Maine about right after that so what do you remember about uh, Worcester you remember anything what do you remember about growing up in Worcester Shit, we were struggling. <laughs> struggle yeah, for man, real? Like, struggle for real, you know, we were living in, you know, projects, you know, people were just messed up, you know, I guess, you know, um, you know, stuff like that, typical, but it wasn't like too bad, you know, we played basketball and stuff growing up, but, uh, right. nothing like too bad or anything like that. Right. Now, so you was in the sports growing up? Yeah, I was mostly into basketball, like, you know what I mean? Like, I played basketball, my brothers played basketball. Until I got to high school, then I was, like, more into football, because, like, I was following my brothers, and they played football as well. Like, I got a brother right now that coaches at Bates College in Lewiston, Maine. True. And, um, you know, it's been going well for him, so, yeah. True. What's up with the music, man? What's up with the music? How old were you when you first started doing music? I think I was probably around... Probably about 10 when I discovered that I like music, like, like that, because I was just, you know, growing up in the churches in Worcester, hearing people playing saxophone and different instruments and things like that. So I'd say around 10, and then when I was 12 was when I first, like, started, like, singing and stuff like that, and, you know, going in the choir, and then when I became, like, late high school, like, 17, that's when I started getting more into, like, writing and producing music. Word, so you write and produce and you rap. Yeah. What do you like to do more? I really like to produce, like, not a lot of people know that. Like, at first, like, I wanted to do, like, the music type of thing, but producing is what I really like doing because I can make beats fast and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but I also have, like, a story to tell, so, you know, I have some music out right now. I just dropped a brand new single, which is called um, Up and Down, featuring my brother, Gazi. Okay. You can check that out on YouTube as well. What is it called again? It's called Up and Down. Yeah. Yeah, featuring my brother Gazi, my Nigerian brother Gazi. Oh, okay. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. Um, what type of music do you make, man? Like, probably like a mixture between like, you know, a little bit of everything, you know, like, you know, I have, I, I was one of those kids that grew up and just listening to like everything, like from rock and roll to pop to country to classical music to um, gangster music, right. even um, gangster rap music, you know. My dad's from New York City, so, you know, a lot of music going around, you know, right. a lot of different hip-hop music, got to hear a lot of, the, you know, the Wu Tang Clan members, things like that, people like that early on, you know, right. stuff like that. That's what's up. You got any favorite artists? Um, right now, I got, there's, um, I'm actually, um, a fan, somewhat of a fan of your music. I've heard your music. Damn, but, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, I think it's dope because I think it speaks to people, you know, like and that come up from the streets. I think it speaks to people that have a story to tell and they can relate to you because, you know, you're kind of like the voice in the platform. So, Thanks, I bro. I think, you know, that's good. And I also think, you know, there's this artist out in the Lewiston right now that not many people have heard of, but you may have heard of him. Okay. Um, his name is YG Alarm. And um, he's like a, he's a reggae artist, um, and he 
does like pop R and B. He's pretty dope. It's YG alum on YouTube. Okay. And then um, you know, not like a lot of people like not people that a lot of people really know, but it's people kind of like under me and other things that I do that you know have a lot of potential. Right. And, like, uh, so you feel? I mean, how you feel about? I mean, me and you didn't did shows before. Yeah. We didn't work with the same producers before. I mean. You see the style of music that the kids are making now. What do you feel about this drill music that's coming out, man? Do you do you do you uh, do you rock? Do you ride and you slide the drill music or like? To keep it a thousand, like I do like drill music, but I just think that like every kid coming out doing it is not really safe because you know like some people really die behind the lifestyle and like really the drill movement. Facts. And you know the people that are not really in the streets are really doing and living them behind that lifestyle are kind of portraying and I just feel like the people who are really about it should do it and the people who are not should just kind of sort of stay out the way. Facts, you facts, know, facts. Um, and whatnot, so yeah. That's what's up, AB. Name your top five for me real quick. Top five, like rappers all time? Yeah. Number one, Jay-Z. Okay. Number two, Fabulous. Fabulous. Number three, Jada Kiss. Okay. Number four, Eminem. Okay. And number five. Last one. Probably Kendrick Lamar. Okay, I'll let you add a six man. Alright, the six person. Top five rapper all the time right now. So you said Jay-Z, you said Jada Kiss, you said Fab, Kendrick, you said who else? It was one more. Um probably Joey Badass. Joey Badass? Yeah, because he's just He's like the definition of like real hip hop. Yeah, he is dope. Like, you know, and he's dope. And he's a dope artist. You know what I mean? I've been listening to him since like 1999 project that he put out on, on mixtape. I used to download it for free every day, listen to it. So, you know, and what he's doing with the whole pro era thing is kind of cool too. So, right. Yeah. Man. That's what's up, man. Um, man, you know we're gonna have to get into it again, man, because. Like, I, I appreciate you taking this interview on the spot, oh, no, man. You, man. you know what I'm saying, man? Like, I appreciate it so much, bros. I know we got so much more stuff to talk about from you producing um, to you making um, music. Is there anybody that you want to collab with, like, here in the future? Like, you want to, like, you got an all-time, like, you know, must-have feature on your shit? Probably you. I get you on one joint. Word. A couple joints. Um, probably... This is White Cat out of Massachusetts, Millie's. Okay. Millie's is my boy. Um, we met on my journey when I went out to the New England Hip Hop Awards. I was actually nominated. And, um, you know, probably Millie's because right now, like, he's like the most authentic, like, rap, white rapper to me, in my opinion, because it's right. like he's bringing the street element and stuff like that. So, him. You know you're going to bleed.